we have a special guest today. And this gentleman, uh, I'm a big fan of, of uh, Kevin uh, Stokes and his wife, Susan. Susan can't be on today. But Kevin, come on and uh, bring Kevin on. And uh, Kevin, uh, one of the things I most like about Kevin is that he is an Apache pilot for the Idaho Air National Guard. And man, as Eddie would say, I think that's being a pilot myself. I think that's as cool as the backside of your pillow. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about, about what you and Susan did. I know you had some money in a, you guys had some money in a corporate uh, 401k and tell us a little bit what, how that happened. Unpack that story for us. Well, you, you know, we met you guys and we started investing in uh, looking to invest in notes. We spent a lot of time analyzing it. It's just analysis by paralysis is something I've had to overcome my whole life. And we spent a bunch of time trying to understand how to, to move out of our buy and hold mentality. Uh, I still have a corporate gig that um, we've been looking to ex exit for quite a while, but all the money we had saved up that wasn't tied up in other properties already was tied up uh, primarily in my corporate 401k. Then I had a traditional IRA and Susan had a traditional IRA from her previous employment plus her business. And so we started a self-directed retirement account under her business and um, we were looking to fund it. We were going to use notes to kind of start that hundred dollar plan uh, with that retirement plan and then find a way to roll over. But we hadn't really decided. And about the time um, we had f figured out a plan, the CARES Act kind of changed everything, provided the um, uh, CARES uh, COVID related distribution. And because of the lockdown in Idaho, Susan's business tanked as far as photography goes. And she didn't do any, any sets for nearly five months. Well, that qualified us under the, the CARES Act distribution plan to um, take out the, the amounts that we had available to us. Um, every individual is kept. 100,000. I was able to split that between my corporate 401k and my traditional IRA. Susan was able to take hers out of her traditional IRA completely. And so between the three of between the three accounts, we got 153,000 that we were able to pull out roughly, I think a little bit less. And um, we used that money to uh, go set up a funding of our note purchases. We knew we wanted uh, high income High, high cash flow because our goal is to get me out of my corporate gig. So we got, we concentrated on the monthly income, potential for payoff and uh, a lot of equity in each one of the properties because I'm not full time in this. She's not right. full time in this. We wanted the least amount of trouble that we could get. We did a number of calls with Note School on our, our weekly calls, uh, looking at some of the, the calls. And in fact, one of the, I knew I was on to the right track because one of the assets we were buying or looking at buying came up as um, one of the spotlight. Um, one of the assets of the, of the week. Right. right. Yeah. Like the asset of the week, it popped right up. And then that was the moment for me that I went, OK, I, I know what I'm doing. Like like I've, I've reached it to where this is this is the right place for us. So tell us a little bit about. So, again, this is if you roll this into. A, a qualified account within three years, then those taxes, you'll file an amended return and they'll be, they'll come back to you. So any taxes you have to pay on this, you'll get all of those, that, that tax money back, right? Yeah. Like, so, so for instance, the, not to get into the specific numbers, but I'll yeah. use easy, easy ones. Um, the tax burden is about 45,000, but rather than spend that it's 15 a year. And, um, the cash flow is going to cover the first year and then I, i'm assuming that at least one of these is going to pay off and we can pay the others and then just continue to collect that money outside of it and then as long as we pay the 153 back into the retirement account and and the beauty of it is that it doesn't have to be in the one that originated so we're, we're done with the with the traditional iras and we'll be able to put that into our our um uh, self-directed account and in the self-directed account, we've got two other notes direct um, assets in there now that are performing uh, as well. We use the same criteria for those as we did the others just to get started. And um, once we pay it, 
then then the amended returns get filed and then we'll we'll get that money back. So at the if end we of choose the day, to do what it. that really means is that all of the profits on this, because you were doing this out of a retirement account anyway. So this really wasn't yeah. today money, right? So it'll all go back in. You'll have all of the taxes you paid in back and it will have been a great move because that allows you to get that money out of that corporate 401k into a self-directed and then never have to pay the tax and, and, and having the, the taxes come back in, in the back door. So that's an amazing thing. 